although Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Um, in this edition, edition 18 of iPad Monthly, we've been looking a lot at um, justification and reasoning and that kind of deeper level thinking. Uh, routines and skills and we're going to continue with that theme we're going to look at a, a little activity called what makes you think that we're going to use book creator to do it um, and we're going to start to explore either visual text um, pictures sorry imagery or even text itself um, allow our students to make a statement and then try to back that up and try and get kids to think a little bit deeply and say, well, why do you actually think that? Can you actually justify what you've done? So let's let's start from scratch here and jump into, um, we're gonna jump into landscape and we're gonna jump into a comic template. I think it's a fantastic way of just engaging kids a little bit more. We'll bring in some panels. Uh, we can delete some of these too. I'm just gonna go with a little bit different one here. And what we'll do with one of them, if I actually hold my finger down on one of the panels, I'll just cut one out because what we're actually gonna do is create um, uh, a question or a statement that the student actually comes up with. So in this case, if we add some text and say, um, I think, and I think in my example, I actually said, I think that Goldilocks is the only one that's scared. Um, but I'll just put I think for now, just to prompt you guys with your discussions. And then all we need to do is bring in some justifications from the book so they can take pictures of the illustrations or they can find one online. I'm just going to use that one for example. And I'm actually going to bring in the same question just so that we can see it from a different perspective. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. I'll just bring in this character here, which is Dad. And I'll bring in that other character as well. Not that it's that applicable, but it just shows, I think, that we can actually use... Um, kind of by zooming in, we can actually look at some different things. And what we can get our students to do then is start to th th think about their statement. I think Goldilocks is the only one that's worried or scared. And we can say, oh, hang on, I think dad's scared here. And obviously we can use some other things. We can use shapes and we can use media. We can get kids to actually add um, sounds, for example. We might actually get kids to think about um, speech marks here and we could kind of angle that here we could actually get the kids to actually predict if you like of what um, the daddy bear is actually thinking or saying to himself to give that worrying look we can also um, have a look at there um, what Goldilocks might be actually thinking as well by just angling that over there I'll just bring that over bring that over here um, and what we can actually do then is get kids to justify their answers and actually get them to think about what makes you think that. Is it just a hunch or does it go beyond the hunch and actually get kids to think about um, what are some of the cues? Not only I've used images a lot here, but we can actually get a lot of cues from the actual text itself as well. So that's just another activity. It's called What Makes You Think That, a fantastic one of analysing um, text um, and pictures and actually getting kids to dig a little bit deeper into their thinking. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.